This is an experiment I decided to try using the Jelly Arts gel printing plate and a piece of art that I quilted on earlier. And I wanted to find out if I could use this quilting to print a piece of fabric. It would probably work on paper as well. So this is what I did. I have a little piece that I created here with a luchador and a couple pieces of cotton and a cotton batting and I just free motioned all over it and the back shows up nice on the black because this is third uh, <clears throat> luchador it's really stiff so it doesn't show that it has the quilting lines but it doesn't show the puffiness that quilting often often shows and on the back it does show the puffiness so I'm going to do an, exper an experiment I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to paint my jelly print uh, plate and I'm going to lay this on the paint and see if this will even emboss mark on my jelly print that I can then transfer to either fabric or paper. I'm going to use fabric. And it won't matter because this piece is going to be mounted onto um, a hardboard for hanging. And I've distressed it a little, burnt, burnt a little bit on it. So that's what I'm going to try and do next. So I have my jelly print plate and I'm going to squeeze a little paint on there. And I'm going to use my hand, which is not recommended necessarily. And just smear it all around. Don't even mind that it's sort of textury and showing all the lines. Now I'm going to take my little art piece and it's larger than this so I'll just sort of see. I want this flower part to show in here. So I'm going to set it on top about there. Give it a little press down. and then peel it off. Oh cool, look at that. Then I'm gonna take my, my white fabric. I haven't done this, so this is very exciting. And I'm going to, actually I think I'll fold it in half. So I folded it in half, I'm gonna hold it above it. This is the way it's done with paper sometimes. And I really don't care if it comes out totally smooth or not. I'll let one side fall down, let the other side, and now I think I'll use my brayer and just roll it onto the fabric. Very fun. I don't care if there's wrinkles. And then I'll peel this off. And I am quite pleased with the results here. Well, I was so excited by these results, I'm going to try this again. A jacquard uh, textile paint just to try something a little different here. And I'm gonna going to not my paint has been in the warm place and it makes it do funky things, but it still works fine. So I'm going to just muck around a little with this paint. Give some different colors, a little color variation. This isn't as thick as I had it before, so it'll be interesting to see what, what happens. Ooh, but it's kind of pretty. So, we'll lay that aside. And I'll take my piece. That was my luchador on one side in cotton and then my quilting lines. And it's still damp from the green that I did a few minutes ago. And I'm going to lay this on top. Ooh, a little crooked, but that's good. And I will press down on it. See if it'll be interesting to see if that paint built up so that it's maybe not as showing the design as well. Lift it off. Oh, again, it's beautiful on the back. That, that would make lovely just fabric to work with. Um, Yes. Hey, again, I fold this piece of fabric in half and lay it on here, dropping one side, dropping the other side. Use the brayer. A few wrinkles, not too worried about that. I'm sure there's slow down and that would avoid those, but we're just having some fun with this. This is very, very exciting. So I'll lift it up, see what we got.
This is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne. Thanks for watching.